When starting high school, freshmen are encouraged to get involved with various school activities, and many do this by playing sports. Some try new sports they've never done before, but many continue with the ones they've played during middle school. Middle school athletics is a time for students to learn the rules and techniques of a sport to help prepare them for potential high school competition. One group that has appeared to have mastered this is the current Hayes Middle School 8th grade class. I spoke with several of their coaches for more details on their athletic successes. This year, the 8th grade boys football team had a very good season, finishing with a 7-0 record and winning the middle school WAC. As a team overall, this is probably from top to bottom, uh, the best team I've coached middle school wise. Um, it seems like in every position there's an athlete there, if not one, if two. Um, they're just solid and deep all the way through. Not only did they go undefeated, but did so in a commanding fashion. They outscored their opponents crazy, and I think um, the 250 something to 30 is by far the, the biggest margin of victory through a season I've had. And Several eighth graders carried that success with them into winter as both basketball and wrestling had solid seasons. As uh, seventh and eighth graders, we were back-to-back -back league champions. Our overall record was 28-1 and one in two years. Uh, we won our middle school WAC tournament in two years. Uh, this year we were uh, 13 and one. Uh, the lone loss coming to uh, Garden City in the re in the regular season, and then we ended up beating them two more times this that that same season. Wrestling wise, I think eighth graders we had four or five eighth graders go undefeated. And this was our first year as WAC champs, so that eighth grade group has had a had a pretty good run here at the middle school. The girls' soccer team has shown their dominance on the field, boasting an undefeated record and not being scored on the entire season. This is the second straight year that they've done this. They've played, these girls have played together for quite a few years, so they know each other really well and they work really hard in practice. So um, the competition hasn't been quite as hard as we've hoped it has, but I do feel like they still play together really well. I think they can, I think they still can only get better. Um, so I think the year, next four years coming to high school, I think um, I'm really looking forward to watching them play a, at the next level. Um, and then playing schools outside of the WAC League, I think will definitely improve their ability and skills, so. With both the boys and girls track teams winning every meet and eventually being named the league champions in 2017, expectations were high this year. Definitely competition's a lot tougher this year, um, but they have, a, they have a really good shot of going repeat league champs. Uh, they've won, I think, three of the six meets we've been at this year. We've had uh, two records so far that have been broken this year with our eighth grade boys. Um, Roy Maroney broke our high jump record. I think he went 5'7", and then Cooper Schubert went over 19 in long jump. That broke our eighth grade boys record. For the track season, our, our eighth grade girls won uh, league last year also. And at our last meet, which our home meet's actually a little tougher than league, they, they won that meet. One thing we really tried to push in the middle school is get out for every sport, be active, and we hope that continues on the high school. I know it's a trend we're really trying to push uh, district-wide is athletes are sport-wide. I mean, we need athletes going out for sports year-round. We just don't want a kid to be a football player or just a track kid or just a basketball kid. We want kids out for every sport all year round and that just boosts our whole athletics. Congratulations to the eighth graders for their accomplishments on the field, court, and track and good luck to them as they begin a new career in high school. This has been Mark Schuchman reporting for Tribe Broadcasting.